Hey guys, Nandra here. Today's game is gonna be uh, <laughs> memes versus memes. Although my meme is slightly less meme than his meme. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be so it's gonna be the Dragoncraft Mirror fe featuring Polyphonic Roar from my side versus uh J O Pendant from his side. Alright, so he chooses to maul again uh two cards uh, so, so, so I can so I can uh safely presume that, that the card he kept is most likely gonna be uh Dragon Oracle. Alright, so for my hand um, this is kind of greedy. Well, sorry, this is really greedy for me. Never ever do this. <laughs> but um, but what I decided to keep was I decided to keep Sybil and I decided to keep Polyphonic Roar. So the reason why I decided to keep Polyphonic Roar is because I think at the time I was kind of hypey because I, I was I was listening to music in the background and and sometimes uh, <laughs> if I listen to music when I play I I, I make a lot of aggressive plays espe especially when, when I'm in the uh, uh when I'm in the Dragon Mirror because I I think I play the Dragon Mirror more than most people on ladder so. I, I, I kind of ha have a good have a good understanding of, of what to do and what not to do and, and, and what I can get away with basically. So I go and toss back uh, I go and toss back the Zeus, and I get an Ezra fill. So uh, a pretty awkward hand. I'm 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 basically going to be playing off the top off the top of my deck. I draw Rahab. Drawing the Rahab is good because if I get an Oracle, suddenly I can play the game again. But I draw, but I draw a Wrath Drake, so, so I'm still not playing the game. But it did go first, so so you can't quite punish me for uh, for that yet. All right, I draw Breath of Salamander, which is close to playable, just not quite. Um, but next turn will be up will be my Rahab turn, followed by my Sybil turn, and then and then at that point I, I should be free to play the game again. All right, so go ahead and play Rahab here. The reason why I, the reason why I played Rahab and, instead of playing Lyrio plus, plus plus Salamander is because if I played Lyrio plus Salamander, he could sell, um, he could uh, forever for free. As I've said in, in previous videos, he um you do not want to let them forever for free uh, if you can avoid it. All right, so I'm gonna pause here. So right here, he plays J he plays Jo Pendant. Now I know a lot of, I know a lot of you are probably going like Jo Pendant. What is that? Um. All right, so. The J O pendant, uh, your your follow your follower spells and effects deal plus one damage. Now the, all right. So J O pendant was used in the past, but now it's currently used to uh, uh to abuse Grimnir because Grimnir does uh does his damage in uh in separate instances. So with the J O pendant out, uh, the, the Grimnir deals four the uh, the Grimnir deals four extra damage for each pendant you have out. So with one pendant, your Grimnir does eight. With two pendants, your Grimnir does twelve. And with three, your Grimner does sixteen damage, and and the damage tends to build up in the class that also has access to stuff like Genesis Dragon and uh, and Fortes. So, uh, it's pretty it's pretty niche, but 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 it does like but it does like work well if you if you're playing something that's like slow and can't really punish you for for uh, for doing turn five do nothing or sorry doing or for paying five mana to do nothing immediately that turn. All right. So this turn is my, this turn is my civil turn. Um, I finally draw an oracle, which will be nice for next turn because next turn I can possibly go um, go oracle plus draft Drake or uh, or yeah or, or, or something like that. He plays his own civil. Now there was some merit to me. Um, to to me to me to me evoing over his Ayala. However, I chose not to do that because in the mirror, especially going first, I I don't want to use a single a single Evo if I can help it uh, until he's already used two of his. Um, Sawi so Sawi, so I can kind of exert exert control over over what he is and, and isn't and isn't allowed to do to me. <laughs> Because um a lot of a lot of dragon players don't play Olivia because Olivia is pretty bad, um and generally uh when you hit that scary point of not having Evos in the dragon mirror you can get you can get set up in, in, into some pretty pretty scary situations so he goes ahead and Evos over me and, and hits me for five um it's sort of noting th th that because he hit me for five I'm now I'm now actually in range of a double Grimnir if I, if I don't like if I don't actually get rid of the Jo pendant which is actually part of why the Jo pendant is ridiculous. Um, 
All right, so I get into, so I get in, in top deck, uh, in top in top deck Saha. I go ahead and Saha Isra, get a full clear, and I still haven't used an Evo yet, and uh, and now now he's in a situation where he's where he's going to want to Evo back, where he's going to want to want to give me his his last Evo. All right, so he plays double Rahab here. The, the double Rahab is actually is actually really annoying. Um, all right, so. I draw Ouroboros here, and there there are a few different lines I can take right now. I can, I can play or I can play Oro. I can I can Evo I can Evo into the Rahab. Uh, sorry, I can play Oro, ping a Rahab, Evo into the Rahab I didn't ping, and and, and then trade my Saha into the uh into the Rahab I did ping, and that'll leave me with just with just Oro on the board. I can also, I can also play. Um, Raft Drake do the same thing. That that that's a that's a much but yeah, that's a much weaker play. Uh, or I can do Oracle plus Salamander. The reason um I'm gonna go ahead and choose Oracle plus Salamander here. The reason why is because I really I really want to make him think that okay next turn he's dropping a Bahamut on me like and and I really want to try to pressure him or whatever into into give me a into give me a free turn uh. Um, on that bait, so that way I, I can play my poly row for free. All right, so I go ahead and play and play the breath of the salamander, get the full clear, and because he has the Jo pendant, my my saha is going to die here, so he does get a free turn, and he goes ahead and, and hits me with Genesis Dragon, uh, due due to my misplay. Alright, so now I'm at five. If he if he has if he has Grimner, I lose. If he has Well, actually right uh yeah, if he if he has Grimner, I lose regardless. If he has a storm card, I most likely lose regardless. Um and right here is, is a pretty scary part. Um I do however have the Isra fill in my hand from a few turns ago. So what I can do is I can go ahead and go and go and go Israfil uh Evo into the Genesis Dragon, and my Israfil will die, but so will his Genesis Dragon, and I'll be at nine HP. The nine HP is relevant because that means that, like, if he does have Grimner here, I won't immediately die to it, and that's important. However, I just go ahead and Bahamut him and just say, okay, well, if you have it, you have it, and, and that'll be game. Um, the Bahamut was important here because. Most times, um, most times people only play, well, people only play, like, a combination of, like, one Genesis, one Zeus, um, especially, especially in a list like his, I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting him to have, to have like, any additional Storm units, which is fine, um, he counter Bahamut's me, which is an issue, but I do have Evo points left, uh, so I, so I can go ahead and, and trade my, and trade my Oro into the Bahamut. And I go ahead and do this, and I also go ahead and heal. The heal is important because it put it, it pushes me back up to eight HP. The eight HP is important because because that means that even if he has Genesis Dragon, he he can only put me to one. He, he, he uh, there's there's quite literally nothing he can do to kill me, other other than exactly Forte Erd. So he plays Perver here, which I think, in my opinion, was kind of a mistake. Um, because it was pretty clear that, uh, that I'm on the back foot and, and that he needs to just keep applying pressure. So I go ahead and play the Polyphronic Roar here. Um, it was kind of scary, but, 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 uh, but, but it was either going to be uh, that I played it that turn or, or I just like probably most likely did not get to play that at all that game. So he, um, one thing that, that I like about, that, that I like about Polyphronic Roar is that no one plays banishers right now. Like, uh, 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 as I've said in, in a previous video, banishers are pretty terrible. <laughs> or sorry, banishers slash slash am, slash uh, slash like conditional am, amulet destruction is pretty terrible at the moment. And uh, and, and versus the matchups where you where you would like want them for, they they usually tend not to do anything. <laughs> so which makes it really really good in, in the dragon matchup because like. Because it means that they have to have Odin, they have to have Lightning Blast, or they have to Bahamut it. 
And if they're if they're using something like that on on the poly, well, what what what, what do they have for your Oro? All right. So here he gets he gets my last Evo, and he also he also regains initiative. And this is really scary for me. However, I have a Saha in, I have a Saha in my hand, um, as well as well as Aura plus like additional uh, as well as Aura plus additional cards. All right, so he plays his second pendant here. The pendant the pendant is pretty scary to be honest, because I'm still because because I'm still I'm still I'm still dangerously close to being dead here, um, because. Grimnir plus Aura would, would would be twelve, um, or just or just uh, two storm cards w w would be uh, would be eleven. All right, so I go ahead and play and play the Oro. All right, he so he does show me that he has the Forte, and I'm ba I'm back I'm back to being in the danger zone again, <laughs> which seems to be our, our recurring theme for this game. <laughs> so I have the Grimnir here, and I have to pray that, that he doesn't have, that he somehow hasn't seen Grimnir and is stopped and stopped like twenty cards. Alright, so he's still drawing here. Him drawing here, in my opinion, was a mistake. Um he he need he needed to put to play real cards here instead instead of uh instead instead of, instead of essentially passing back his turn and, and allowing me to do stuff to him. Alright. So I played the Israel Fill here. The reason the reason why I played why I played the Israel Fill was because um if he had Grimnir finally <laughs> the Grimner actually would have killed me from from eight HP, so I didn't have a choice. So here he shows me he shows me that his hand is trash and that I've most likely just won the game on the spot. So I, I get I go ahead I go ahead and play my second Israfil. Um, it's worth noting here that <laughs> he has fifteen cards left in his hand. If he has double Grimner, I'm still dead to it. <laughs> Alright, and now here because uh, because I know that uh, the, um, that I'm still in range of double Grimner, I, I just go ahead and throw my Bahamut. He's already used two Bahamuts, so, so if he has a third, then, then okay, he is a god. Um, but if he doesn't, then he, he is in trouble because I have a lot of AOE in my hand. Right. So he plays his Israfil, which is not enough because he, he already knows for a fact. Okay, this guy has Aura in his hand, so uh, he 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 needed he needed to heal above above uh, sixteen to eighteen uh, to uh, to eighteen HP in order in order to be safe. So uh, that was that game. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time.